ओके टेबल नंबर टू प्रेफरेबली इफ यू नो अबाउट द डिपेंडेंट इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल Preferably, you should know what is the dependent, what is independent. They can be measured in metric and non-metric. They can be measured in metric or non-metric. Total your choice. If dependent is metric, independent is metric. Means dependent variable is one, independent is one. It means it's a bivariate. when dependent is one independent is one and both are metric we apply simple regression so is there something called complex regression no it's a multiple regression the other term is multiple regression so it's a simple regression now look for where to apply regression it's not your free will you apply regression only when both dependent and independent are metric means either both are on likert scale or both are open ended do you understand why finance people maximum times work on the regression maximum times because their data anything where the money comes that's a ratio okay so it's simple regression when dependent is metric independent is non metric the term becomes hypothesis tests all t test anova they all come here t z f anova all things come here even non parametric test u test h test all come here so it's a big block t f z u h all comes here when both of them are non metric we apply cross tabulation it is also called as contingency table and the statistical test that is present here is chi square test the statistical test is called as the chi square test when dependent variable is metric non metric independent is metric the technique we apply either logistics regression i told you it's a family joint family member got so many types of regression logistics regression or we can apply lda linear discriminant analysis linear discriminant analysis let's take a few example post lunch we started with the synopsis and one of the girl she said i will work on can you just repeat what was your objective second objective you wanted to check effect of something on something endorsement on yeah young consumers brand association okay in this objective well friends please look for not only with this or the multivariate or wherever we will go i will ask you only two questions always number 1 how many variables are there number 2 are they metric or non metric these two are the keys of all logs of statistics just tell me are you clear about these two things or not are you comfortable in identifying variable from a given statement yes, yes, okay and are you clear about the what sort of question if you ask what sort of measurement it will lead to now she want to check the impact of celebrity endorsement on the brand association can i call it as the bivariate she use the word impact effect relationship as of now i am not distinguish between these words some more senior people can tell you no no effect means this impact means this analyze means this and uh, investigate means this i am simply i am a simple student of statistics my point is you tell me are the two related or not just like the you know small kids you tell me are the two related or not we'll do the things later on yes. the two are the things right now second part is we should ask it should never come like which test will apply 
because one question is still left out how you measured it because the way she will measure will ultimately yield to this she decided celebrity endorsement and brand association one question was asked are you associated with any brand yes or no are you associated with a brand yes no and are you affected by celebrity yes or no she says i wish to measure by this and there is a very small and compact research only two questions are there celebrity endorsement are you affected by this do you check for this yes no are you associated with brand yes no can you tell me what sort of tool technique will be applicable now now look for dependent variable one dependent and that is non metric one independent that is non metric look for it non metric non metric she should apply cross tabulation and chi square test yes. do you get it so first thing is it very technical or something rocket science or something you can get it you can understand okay so it's not the privilege of some of the people they know all it's so simple it's just when they do do it again and again you get a insight that yes it can be done okay so if she decides brand association she will take on the likert scale and this on the likert scale then which particular tool technique should be applied simple regression and now in the morning i asked you a question the question was choice of the ice cream amul or wadilal the person is interested in is it related with age or not in the morning it was two age income let's take only two now choice is amul and wadilal metric or non metric non metric non metric age fill in the blanks metric now which out of the two is the dependent choice depends on age or age depends on choice choice depends on age so this is dependent this is independent okay can you tell me which technique to be applied dependent variable is non metric independent is metric which test or technique will be applied you want to be given t you lose your entitlement for t <laughs> was it you too <laughs> no t will be given to you <laughs> well i uh, see oh my god now you know what i am really teaching now i don't have doubt on you i have started doubting on myself <laughs> okay let's do it slow by slow there is a dependent variable there is one independent variable is it bivariate yes there are two variables it's bivariate okay dependent variable is choice you told me choice depends on age choice may depend on age dependent variable is non metric dependent variable non metric either of the two can be applied and independent you told me it's a metric independent is metric logistic regression so why people were saying simple regression cross tab and all these things so how many of you are pursuing phd quite few Uh, how to know actually that uh, i am very close to phd any indicators available i can help you in that that tells you yes i am about to submit and now phd is about to awarded well there are so many you have written the paper you have written the chapters these are others one good indicator is always look for are you able to read your handwriting or not when you are not able to read your handwriting you are very much entitlement for the doctor you know you remember doctors nobody can read their handwriting so all those who are phd they they are exempted they can write anything you know we started writing like this 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 is so my question to you is are you able to read your handwriting what you have written can you read it so i think it's a saturation point has reached uh, you are not able to somewhere you are going for regression or this or this or this but i think the correct answer is logistics regression take a tea break we'll do certain more case studies and i will try to tell you why this when both are there why this why not this much take a short break t is uh, uh, there for uh, don't uh, don't you think these are the some book definition simply can be used in real life my attempt is just tell me what to do exactly 
to me research is simply relation between the variables right so it can be as simple as that when the guest will come which dish will make relationship of the guest versus the dish it can be as simple as that to the complex uh, gdp parameters etc relation between the variables is called as the research what exactly is hypothesis what is hypothesis hypothesis is one of the relationship which has been specified by the previous researchers what is hypothesis hypothesis is not any fancy statements rather it's in simple words there must be variables and they must be explained in a simple term that this is the relationship so let me tell you uh, you have made this table 1 table 2 so i will make table 3 just a little later before that i will just touch one two points here and there 